Hello everyone, it's Doc. Today, I want to give you like a little tour. This was requested quite a lot because everyone just was thinking about like, how did you make a whole exhibit fit into like an existing habitat within a perimeter fence? So today, that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a little bit of like a tour. And at the same time, I'm going to show you like how I did it step by step, also with a tutorial. Um, for the underwater viewing area. So it's going to be like a twofold tutorial and like tips and tricks. I guess this video is more technical than others. It's not a speed build. It's a one take. So as soon as I have it, I'm going to upload it because people have been asking. So I got to give y'all what y'all ask. So the exhibit I'm talking about is this one. So when you get through that little door, there's a diamond back terrapin um, exhibit and people on Reddit, especially have been asking, um, so how did you integrate an exhibit into an existing perimeter fence? And I'm going to show you in a second. It didn't have a diamond back terrapin. It is completely functional. The path is a bit off for this one because I built this entire blueprint on another map. So I carried over here, tried to path it again, but the exhibit is functional. There's nothing wrong with it done. Nothing bad. So. The entire zoo that we're building here is, again, the Pineland Zoo. And one of the main things about the zoo, why I place this blueprint here, is that it's so useful. Like, there's, you get two in one. And I love big penguin colonies. I think they look, they sound amazing. They look beautiful. They're so interesting to watch. And I was like, you know what? They're going to be one of the star animals in this uh, Pineland Zoo. So I just carried over the blueprint here. That's why they have such a large area. But also, this blueprint and this penguin observatory, what I call a penguin observatory, is a real life um, aquarium. I just forgot where. If I remember at some point, I'm going to put it as an info or like in my description down below. So it's almost a replica one by one. This wall pieces, all of them in each one almost, I use these um, limestone sloped one meter slope walls and the rest of them are just movable free movable pieces of limestone i'm going to show you also it at night because i would say this entire thing comes to life at night the most so here you can see i use the european you know those string lights they're really cool i love them the way that they illuminate illuminates yeah illuminates space is amazing and yeah i just place them both inside the metal bars, like those metal bars between the wall pieces, they have some lights and the underneath has some lights. But that's not what we're going to show you today. It's not going to be like a full on tour. If we did that, it would take a bit longer for the tour. I really just want to show you how I achieved um, making a functional exhibit inside a habitat. One of the things, I don't know why this fish is here, by the way, and I think it's cool, but I didn't think that my keepers could get there. One thing that I did here is after um, building the centerpiece, so after building the actual building in the middle, that's only when, only when I was finished with the middle building did I start to do the perimeter fence. Before that, I didn't do it because... I just, it was just the steps that I took. It wasn't anything special. I guess from what people have been telling me, if you first um, build like a habitat perimeter fence and then try to place an exhibit inside, that doesn't work. But for my case, it worked. Maybe it's the steps. So that's one trick I'm going to give you. And I will play test this at some point. I just really don't have time today. I flew back from Madrid like... I don't know, six hours, no, seven, eight hours ago. So I'm really tired. Ryanair really kicked my bum today. But yeah, the first thing I did was building this entire building first. And then I went on to build um, the habitat perimeter and the rocks and everything, whatever. But I think it has more to do with the steps than any mod or cheat or whatever. I didn't use any mods. I didn't use any special building techniques. It's just the steps that I like to take um, when making any build at all. I always like to build the shelter first, 
Build the centerpiece aquarium whatever observatory deck viewing areas first before I actually start building the perimeter fence. Because to me, that's just the easier way of doing things. Now we're going to go over to the tutorial real quick. This is an underwater viewing gallery. I've seen a Reddit user give a really good tip and I want to show, share that tip with you also. I'm not taking cre credit for this uh, tip, by the way. Basically, the Reddit user that I saw said, if you build, if you're going to build underwater, underwater galleries, make sure that they face um, against the sun. So when the sunlight comes in, it comes through. And mine doesn't because it's east to west uh, side kind of. It will come through and your guests will get to see more. It shouldn't face it directly. So if you have something like this where you can make sure that it, the sun only comes in through one direction and not the other, you won't get a bad reflection. Here I will give a quick tutorial as to how I do my own underwater building, you know, underwater galleries. Because I've looked at so many underwater um, viewing gallery tutorials and usually, just in my opinion, for a beginner, those are very difficult. They're not as easy as the creators show them to be. I mean, most creators in this game at this point have over a thousand hours of playtime. So for them, it might be simple, but for many people, it isn't. So here's a very easy way to do it. You just first make a pit any size, any shape, it doesn't matter. Then you need to create an island a bit taller than the pit itself. This is going to be like your starting point. And then just make it, you don't have to use this tool by the way, you can do it in any way, shape or form. You can even make it triangular. Like I never tried that. Pretty sure you can. You just now have to make it a, make the next, um, you need to make it like an indent, half full indent into the, what do you call it? Yeah, the island. Once you do that, you're going to get like this. You're going to see it now on the sides. You're going to have this like a C shape kind of, essentially. I like these more because you have so much freedom with, you know, square buildings. Yes, can be boring, but only if you make it so for this specific tutorial, always use the flat a top um, extendable end or whatever it's called. You can see what I selected there to the third option to the right. And you raise it up high. And when you place the water, the inside of this thing will not get filled. Only around it will get filled. So now you can just like place a path. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. All you need, because let's be honest, path system in this game is a yeah, pain in the bum. So all you need is really some flat like roof pieces or flat floor pieces, whatever you want to call them. Place some on the elevation that you want for the sake of this, tu this tutorial. I'm just going to place them like at the lowest level I can so that they would make sense and I can still show you a path and raise some to the back as well so that these kind of are going to be your stairs, whatever. Like right now, I'm just really winging it. Also, mind you guys, this is a voiceover. I have recorded the entire thing live with a voiceover but the microphone just for whatever reason effed up so i had to re-record the entire thing now here i'm just trying to show you how to do the elevation and stairs but like i said you need to work on it a bit harder than what i'm doing now it's just like the ground works to it but it's definitely doable all you need is what i would do here that could make it work is to delete one more line of path uh, pathing and then just extend the top part down it would definitely work then just like it did with the penguin observatory but that's the gist of it you get it it's definitely possible any questions of course you can ask them to me in the comments down below but yeah like this is essentially how we do it i am trying again here to show you how it's done but the path system really doesn't want to work important thing here is this is how we can create a really easy underwater viewing gallery this way you also don't have to create like outside um, terrain changes too much to the habitat you're building so that it would i don't know have some kind of underwater viewing gallery you don't need to do that you can make it inside indoors just like in real life how zeus have them usually 
the galleries, like viewing galleries are indoors. Okay, I got cut off there. Usually indoor viewing, uh, viewing galleries are indoors in zoos. They're never really outside. So this is a perfect way to do it. Just honestly make a little pit inside, like make a little moat basically around a pit. Raise the pit a bit higher. Use the fence tool the way I showed you and you're going to get a perfect viewing gallery. It's going to be perfectly square. You can build around it walls as well so that it looks like really nice inside. Um, the lighting, you can work on it a lot more too. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think. And see you next time. Bye for now.